30 upon square root of 8 plus square root of 5 plus square root of 3. We have to simplify it. To simplify this, where to simplify it, first we will have to rationalize the denominator because in the denominator we have radicals. To rationalize it, we multiply and divide by the conjugate of the denominator. So, conjugate of x plus y is x minus y. So, if we write it like this, 30 upon square root of 5 plus square root of 3 together, then plus square root of 8. We are not changing the question. Now, if you consider this as x and square root of 8 as y, then x plus y is the denominator. Its conjugate will be x minus y. So, conjugate will be square root of 5 plus square root of 3 minus square root of 8. So, let us multiply and divide it by the conjugate. We multiply and divide by the same number because that means multiplying by 1 and in that way we are not changing the question when you multiply any number by 1 it is equal to 1 it is equal to that number so we multiply and divide by square root of 5 plus 3 minus square root of 8 so this will be 30 multiplied to square root of 5 plus 3 minus square root of 8 upon now here if you consider square root of 5 plus 3 as a and square root of 8 as b then is it this is in the form of a plus b times a minus b differences of square so we can write it as a square minus b square so here we can write square root of 5 plus square root of 3 whole square minus square root of 8 square now multiply it 30 times square root of 5 plus 30 times square root of 3 minus 30 times square root of 8 upon now this is in the form of a plus b whole square so we can write it as a square plus b square plus 2ab so this will be square root of 5 square plus square root of 3 square plus 2 times square root of 5 times square root of 3 minus we can remove the square root with this square so it will be 8 here also we can remove the square root with this square so we have 30 times square root of 5 plus 30 times square root of 3 minus square root of 8 we can write it as 2 root 2 so 30 times 2 root 2 upon 5 plus plus square root of 5 times 3 is 15 minus 8 plus 30 times square root of 3 minus 30 times 2 is 60 times square root of 2 upon 8 plus 2 times square root of 15 minus 8 plus 8 and minus 8 gets cancelled now we have 30 times square root of 5 plus 30 times square root of 3 minus 60 times square root of 2 upon 2 times square root of 15. Again in the denominator we have a radical. So let us multiply and divide by the radical square root of 15. Because you can cancel this and this it will be equal to 1. So, again no change in the question. Now, 30 times 15 times 5 under square root plus 30 times 15 times 3 under square root minus 60 
times 15 times 2 under square root upon 2 times square root of 15 square again you can remove the square root with this square so 30 this we can write 5 times 3 then times 5 plus 30 times 15 as 5 times 3 then times 3 under square root minus 60 15 times 2 30 under square root upon 2 times 15 is 30 or this is 30 times this will be square root of 5 square times square root of 3 plus 30 times square root of 3 square times square root of 5 minus 60 times square root of 30 upon 30 remove the square root with this square so 30 times 5 times square root of 3 plus 30 times square root 30 times 3 times square root of 5 minus 60 times square root of 30 upon 30 now we can take 30 common so 5 times square root of 3 plus 3 times square root of 5 minus 2 times square root of 30 upon 30 we can cancel 30 and 30 so we have 5 times square root of 3 plus 3 times square root of 5 minus 2 times square root of 30 How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.